In this tutorial, I'll show you a simple trick on how to fit an audio track to the length of your video clip in Premiere Pro without any other software. Sometimes, you have an audio track that is longer than you need for your video clip. And you're not an expert in Adobe Audition to manipulate with the tracks there. Import the audio track onto the timeline. Cut the excess part. Move that part below the main track and place it wherever you require. In this case, I want the excess part to serve as the ending part of my audio track. Make another cut. This time cut the part of the track which is the same length as your ending portion. Remove the part that is no longer required. Move the ending part up to align with the main track. This is a demonstration that the two parts you have for now have to be adjusted to match the sound. If you can hear, the sound between two parts of the audio is jumping. Now, I'm going to apply a default transition between the two parts. And the transition is the cross-dissolve transition we usually use for video clips. To find and use the cross-dissolve transition, go to Effects. Print, cross-dissolve. Find the transition at the bottom. You can't apply this transition directly from transitions. It doesn't work that way. To make it work my way, click the transition with the right mouse button and set selected as the default transition. Zoom in on the timeline to better view what you've got here. You see the transition is applied to the soundtrack between two parts. Click the transition. Look up in the effect controls panel, you can see a white rectangle. This is our transition. Let's make it wider to allow it to cover a broader area. Let's take a look at what we got here. Play the track. And play it one more time. You need to play with the length to adjust it to your liking. As you see, the transition between the pieces of the track is very smooth. This works with instrumental tracks. You need to play with parts of your audio track to connect before you achieve the required result. There's a more rough way to adjust the length of your audio track to the length of your video clip. And this is up to you whichever way you prefer. Here's the rough way. Grab the razor tool and cut the excess part of your audio track. Remove the part you don't need. On the adjustment part of the timeline, make your audio track wider to see the sound level line inside the track. Hold the control button on your keyboard and place two marks on the track to isolate the portion of the track for adjustments. Release the control button. Move the mark on the right all the way down or to whatever place you decide. That will fade away the sound. And see the result. If necessary, make other adjustments to your track. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. Leave a comment if you have questions, and share it with your fellow creators. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.